make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future action. So I'm having a bit of a bad start to the morning because of um, battery trouble. But I've got my battery now charging on the solar panels. So I just got to wait it out a little bit till it um, actually charges up enough so I can start it. I haven't even uh, left the ramp yet, but we already got some uh, a little bit of a feed in the box from some generous people at the ramp. So yeah, stoked about that. So finally made it <laughs> made it out here after struggling most of the morning to get that battery charged up. I bypassed um, or I actually connected the solar panels up to the battery now and uh, got that permanently mounted. So it's um, it's always going to charge this battery and I'm never going to have this issue again. Um, missed that morning bite though, which is a real um, bummer. But yeah, we out there. I finally made it. Just persevered and yeah got the rod in the water i'll put a few more rods out and uh, see if we get any fish today it's still cold the water temperature is only 12 12 degrees so um yeah hopefully there's some fish out here so let's see if um we can at least catch a gurnet or maybe just a kawai Just hanging around the boat now. I've slowed right down, stopped actually, and they're just sitting there. Right to the boat. You can almost touch it. So I'm just using knife just using this little um called portrait seconds tiny as portraits and they've got a bit of torn open bellies and stuff from last cast but they're really awesome baits if you um bottom fishing like this also i have these um hooks from fiona or v just have a look in the description below i'll link um for a local you can get get some hooks off there and then obviously last cast portrait seconds awesome baits for these type of um, bottom fishing with a small gurnet and all that even last season we could have a, had a few uh, 20 pounders caught on this this time of the year so i just bait it like that one through the tail and one through the head just going underneath that spine coming back up and these circle hooks they just hold on for life last season i caught a marco shark on one of those hooks and i got it all the way into the boat i'll link uh put a link into the description of the video of me catching that that marco um, reckon it was about 30 kilos, but those hooks hold on and they didn't come off. And looks like we're on on this rod. Yep, 
there's something there. A shark. This is a school shark and not a spiny. So that's not too bad. Still. Look at baby teeth. So I just dropped for dropped the small rod to see if I could get a um, live bait, and then um, <clears throat> first drop my sinker got taken off by what I think is a kuda or kuta, and now uh, uh, I hooked a little jig on there just for a small weight because I didn't have any small weights and dropped it down and surely enough I'm hooked up with this little pink rod for my daughter <laughs> that I was going to use for life bait and yeah it's taken some line it's screaming a little bit and um, I'm just going to play it really slowly because this line is really thin and it it does have some pull to it this fish look at that Staking some line. Sure. Let's crank the drag up just a little bit. But this is a good fight so far. <laughs> it's not coming up, that's for sure. Yeah, we're get, getting a little bit of line back. Man, this is a, really a good fight on this light tackle. Tell you that much. If I can land this, be awesome. Should be coming close now. Should be really close. Yep, I can see it. Looks like, um, oh yeah, it's a kawai. Oh yeah, that's a good size too. Surely didn't want to give up, and didn't want to give up uh, easily. And it's actually taken, it's taken a little lure. Got a little kawai. Oh, and then it snapped my lure off. It's going back to the deep. Should have net netted that one. Should have. Big school of bait fish coming through again. And it looks like we're getting some inquiries on this one. Yep. And I got a come off no, he's on there feels like a car line feels like he's swimming up oh, another spiny can you believe it Must be spiny number four or five for the day. Look at that big spike, sharp as anything. <laughs> All right, you go back, mister. Leave me lines alone. So that was on two tails. Now I'm just putting two heads on. Not getting as many strikes on the heads. It's always the tail section I find um, catches the most fish.
There's already bites there. Oh, and I'm on. Feels a little bit different. Uh, just a bigger one. It's just a bigger one. That's all it is. <sighs> So that's a nice big spiny, much bigger than the last ones, still a damn spiny though, all those spots on it, big spine there and there, but this one at the back is normally the one he comes back and hits you in the leg with it, gets you in the hand, but um, yeah this is a bigger one. I was hoping these ones have buggered off now, but nah, still tons of them around. We'll send this one back on its way. Oh, I just got smashed on the way down. Yep, and it's on. It's all on. This has got a better kick to it. Might be a car why because it got smashed on the way down, or it's going to be a cuda. Oh, it's got a bit of pull to it. I'll give it some line. Come on, what is this? It's got very much shakes like a uh, kawai. Kawai or snapper does that as well. But I'm betting because it got taken on the way down, it's probably going to be a kawai. <laughs> Two kawais, double guns, kawai. Well, kawai is better than nothing. There we go, two kawais in the boat. This is also known as an Australian sea salmon. colors on it and they're also hunting fish awesome awesome looking fish it's just they um, are a bit of a pest in this waters so not many people especially boaties don't like to catch them but they are beautiful fish nonetheless and uh, good eating too so if you are keeping a kawai, you always have to bleed it, otherwise the flesh is really bloody. So best way of killing a kawai is just cutting its throat right there and have it bleed out. So today, because we're not catching anything else, we'll keep these two kawais. And I just break it like that, instantly killing the fish, 
and it bleeds it out. And also shows that the meat is nice and not full of blood. So straight on to the bin that goes. If you're squeamish, look away. Now all the blood in the water, so I'm just going to attract more sharks for us. Right, just going to drop it and hold it in my hand. Yep, they're there, they're playing with it. Yep, yep, I'm on. Oh. Take it, take it, yep. He took it, he's on, he's on. Oh, yep, he's on. And feels like it might be another couple of them. Just one this time. Oh, there's the barracuda. There's the cuda I was talking about. That's the bugger that's taken it. So this is barracuda. Oh, the brothers of the barracuda, the snook in South Africa. But these ones, they stink. And they have worms. So we don't really eat them over here in New Zealand. Uh, although I have heard of a few people actually eating them. But there we go. There's your barracuda or snook as it's known in South Africa. Oh, and this thing has teeth that you don't want to get your hands into. Look at those suckers. They will do damage. So, um... Good prey bait. So they're normally pretty good prey bait. And um, also if you want to go groper fishing, make a nice chunk of bait for that. But otherwise, they're good for nothing. Good for eating your sinkers and just pescering you and uh, costing you a lot of money on traces. So, uh, back in the drink. I better check my trace after that, because they just stuff your trace up. Look at that. Look at that. Stuff your trace up with one bite. They cut off sinkers. If you have a shiny bit on your sinkers, they just go for the sinker and they eat the sinker. Just on the drop again. I can feel something tapping, tapping the line. I'll set the bottom. But I think I've been cleaned out already. Yeah, so there's heaps of fish there. Oh, there's one big one, 87. The other ones is all, oh, might be 8 and a 7. But they're all 19, 15. They're pretty small bait fish. Yep, 
and I'm on just reeled up from the bottom into that school of fish and got a hook up straight away I think it might be a kawai or it might be another kuda oh the kawais also jump like that they come up and they jump trying to shake that with hook out it's got a couple of his mates hanging around below him He's in the boat. Oh! And we have dolphins again. The dolphins are back. That's awesome. Another kawai. Look at the colors on that. Don't know if you'll actually see the colors in, on, the, on the camera just beautiful greens and blues and um, I'll send this one back on its way because I've, I have enough for a feed so this one can go back to the drink all right guys it's uh, just on four o'clock now so I'm gonna be heading back home and um, thank you for watching spending your time watching um, my video yeah I've got about an hour's run back home and I'll probably be home just after five so yeah thank you for uh, tuning in thanks for watching and uh, it wasn't that eventful today but yeah we're probably um just a bit early season still uh, in a couple of months or a couple of weeks time we'll be hitting the springs the big snapper will be coming in the kingfish gurnet so yeah stay tuned for that if you haven't subscribed yet please guys subscribe to my channel help me out and um let's grow my family i haven't been doing much fishing videos um mostly because it doesn't get watched as much as um my how-to videos and diy videos does but um nevertheless i put out a poll um a poll out there so to ask people what they want to see and there was um 80 percent of people said that they want to see me fishing so there you go that's for you guys thank you and um yeah please leave me a message down below i'll reply to every one of your messages i always do and the like would help and please share if you um have mates that will enjoy this video too so yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you all um, on the next one if you've missed this video then click on this link and if you've missed that video then click on that link Click on the logo below to become part of my family.